Hello students, in continuation with our assertion and reasoning series, today we will take up uh, questions on current electricity. In our previous uh, discussion, in first discussion we have done how you should approach assertion and reasoning type questions. After that we have taken the first chapter that is the electrostatics. And in today's discussion we are going to discuss questions on current electricity. Let's start with the first question. Again, before we start, uh, we should go for the different options which are there. So the first option is assertion and region, both are correct statement and uh, region is the correct explanation for assertion. Second one is assertion and region, both are correct statement, but uh, region is not the correct explanation for assertion. Third one is assertion is correct statement, but region is false. And uh, the fourth one is assertion and region both are wrong statement. Let's just take uh, assertion. Good conductors of heat are also good conductors of electricity and vice versa. Reason is mainly electrons are responsible for these conduction. Now the first one if you see uh, good conductors of heat are also good conductors of electricity of course. Uh, here basically in both whether you take the conduction of heat or that of the electricity it is the electrons due to which uh, current or electricity flows through the conductor. So the first one is a correct st statement or it is true. The second one is mainly electrons are responsible for these conduction. So this is also a correct statement. Now, assertion and region both are correct. So now, just to see whether the option 1 is correct or option 2, we'll read out assertion and region there with because in between. That means good conductors of heat are also good conductors of electricity and vice versa because mainly electrons are responsible for these conduction. So obviously, the first one is the correct option. Second question, again uh, it is the same uh, set of options there, assertion region both are wrong statement that is the fourth one and the third one is uh, assertion is correct, region is false. So let's take the assertion. In a simple battery circuit, the point of lowest potential is the positive terminal of battery and reason is the current flows towards the point of higher potential as it does in such a circuit from negative to positive terminal. The assertion part if I take. In a simple battery circuit, the point of lowest potential is the positive terminal of the battery. This is wrong. Positive terminal is considered to be the point of higher potential because if I take any particular circuit, this is the positive potential, this is the negative. Positive charge will move from higher potential to lower potential there and uh, that is also the direction of the conventional current. So here when we say that the point of lowest potential is the positive terminal of the battery, this is false. And reason if I take the current flows towards the point of higher potential as it does in such a circuit from the negative to the positive terminal. Again, current will be flowing like this from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal through external circuit there. So obviously this is also false. And if assertion and region both are false, you can easily conclude that the fourth one is the correct option. Assertion is total current entering a circuit is equal to leaving the circuit by Kirchhoff's law. And uh, reason is it is based on the conservation of energy. Now the first one, total current entering a circuit is equal to leaving the circuit by Kirchhoff's law. Of course, Kirchhoff's uh, point rule if I take, it is the algebraic sum of the current meeting at a point is zero. And uh, that we take uh, just like the total incoming current is equal to total outgoing current there. 
because if you take uh, for a particular point uh, incoming current as positive and outgoing current as negative in that case it will be the sum of current which is reaching that particular point that must be equal to the sum of the current which is leaving that particular point so this is true and the reason is given that it is based on conservation of energy this is false point rule is based on conservation of charge loop rule is based on conservation of energy so since it is dealing with the point rule here so obviously this will be wrong there that means assertion is true reason is false so third one is the correct option let's take now the next question assertion is an electrical bulb it starts glowing instantly as it is switched on and the reason is drift velocity of electron in a metallic wire is very large now electrical bulb if you take uh, if you switch it on the circuit in that case it will glow immediately so this is true drift velocity of electrons in a metallic wire is very large this is wrong drift velocity of the electron in the conductor is very small so obviously this is a wrong statement there it is a say few millimeters uh, per second so obviously this will be a false statement so again this is the third one which is the correct one now let's take a fifth question again the options are same what we have done in the previous one Assertion is current is passed through a metallic wire so that it becomes red hot. When cold water is poured on half of its portion, the rest of the half portion becomes more hot. And uh, reason is given that resistance decreases due to decrease in temperature. Now, let's take the first part. You are passing electric current through a conductor, obviously. If I take a Joule's law, in that case, heat will be produced in it and the heat will be given as your I square RT. So when you are passing electric current, since the metallic wire will have some resistance, so definitely it will get heated and it will become, say, red hot in due course. Now you are pouring cold water on half of its portion. Suppose you have this as the wire and uh, on this portion suppose you have dropped a cold water so if you're dropping cold water on it its temperature will decrease and if temperature is decreasing that means the resistance of this part will also decrease and if the resistance of half part is decreasing for the total wire also if i consider the effective resistance will decrease so if the resistance of the metallic wire decreases as it is connected to a same source here so obviously in that case the current will increase because in the circuit resistance has decreased so if the current is increasing there in that case definitely the heat produced will also be more so that means half portion will become more hot this is true and what was given the reason there resistance decreases due to decrease in temperature now this is the correct statement if I take especially metallic wire has been uh, used there. So it is in con context of that metallic wire. Now again, since assertion and reason both are true. So let's uh, take that with entire statement together so that we can decide whether it is the first option correct or the second one. So current is passed through a metallic wire so that it becomes red hot. When cold water is poured on half of its portion, the rest of the half portion becomes more hot because the resistance decreases due to decrease in temperature. So this is a correct statement or it is explaining the assertion part completely there. So in this case, the first one is the correct option. Let's take the next question. Again, it is the same options there for third and fourth. Now, Assertion is the current flows in a conductor only when there is an electric field within the conductor. When you are applying 
electric field across a conductor definitely in that case the current will flow so this is true now let's take the reason there the drift velocity of electron in presence of electric field decreases now this is not correct because if you are not applying any field or you are not applying any potential difference in that case the uh, three electrons they will be in random motion so in that case their effective drift velocity will be zero when we apply potential difference and electric field is set up then the charge carriers or the free electrons they start moving so they will have the drift velocity so now the drift velocity will have some value so in that case this is false so in this particular case the third one is the correct option Let's take uh, next question. Again, the options are same as the previous one. Uh, assertion for this case is uh, a current flows in a conductor only when there is a potential difference applied across the conductor. So this is a correct statement. So it is uh, true because the current will be flowing only when there is a potential difference applied. Reason is the current, the conductor the conductor acquires a net charge during the flow of current. Conductor do not acquire any net charge. The net charge on that will remain zero because uh, during the flow of the current, it's not that it is becoming a charged body there. So this is uh, false. So in this case, assertion is true. Reason is false. So that means the third one is the correct option. Now, let's take... Uh, this question, question number eight. Again, to the same options there. Assertion is bulb generally gets fused when they are switched on or off. Now, this is a correct statement because you all have must have noticed that uh, the bulbs will get fused when it is uh, switched on or off. That time, maximum chance is there that the bulb will get fused. Now, the reason is, so that means this is a correct statement. Reason when we switch on or off a circuit current changes rapidly. That is also a correct statement. Because uh, here, if suppose no current is flowing. So in that particular case, we take T equals to zero, the, there is no current. And when you switch it on, immediately the current will try to get its maximum value there. So in that case, it will change very rapidly there. So there is a very large current flowing at that moment. So obviously, in that case, it is also true. And now let's just read out once again. Bulb generally gets fused when they are switched on or off. Because when we switch on or off, the circuit current changes it rapidly. So obviously, the first one is the correct option. Let's take the next question. The drift velocity of electron in a metallic wire decreases when temperature of the wire increases. Now, here it is said that the drift velocity of the electrons in metallic wire will decrease when the temperature is increased. Remember, the word metallic wire is mentioned. So, when you have a metallic wire you are increasing its temperature in that case uh, the collisions will be more frequent there and if the collision will be more frequent in that case the relaxation time will decrease and if the relaxation time is decreasing definitely the drift velocity will also decrease so in that case this is true on increasing temperature the conductivity of the metallic wire decreases that is also correct because when you are increasing our uh, temperature for the metallic wire resistivity increases and res conductivity is the reciprocal of resistivity so obviously in that case this will also get decreased that means this is also true so again assertion and reason both are true so let's read it out once again that uh, drift velocity of electron in a metallic wire decreases when temperature of the wire increases because on increasing temperature, conductivity of metallic wire decreases. So uh, let's discuss uh, 
if the assertion and reason both are true, whether the first option is correct or the second one. So for that, if you read it out, the drift velocity of electron in a metallic wire decreases when the temperature of the wire increases because on increasing temperature, conductivity of metallic wire decreases. Now, this is not explaining how the drift velocity should get decreased if the temperature of metallic wire is increased because it is saying that the conductivity will change on increasing temperature there. It has not explained why the drift velocity should get changed. So obviously in this case, the second one is the correct option. Let's take the next question. Again, it is the same options here. Now, assertion is the fuse wire has high resistance and low melting point. This is a correct statement. It is true because as the fuse wire will have low melting point, then only if high current is uh, flowing, in that case, it will easily get fused and it will break the circuit there. So it should have high resistance so that the heat produced is more and should have low melting point so that it will melt quickly to break the circuit. And the reason is that uh, fuse wire is for a small current flow only. That means this is false. Fuse wire basically we are using to protect our circuit there or the appliances there. So obviously whenever there is a high current flowing there, so in that case it will uh, break the circuit there and the appliances will uh, get protected there. So this is uh, false. So obviously if assertion is true and reason is false, that means the third option is the correct one.